These are just some of the horrific sights following the devastating tornado that struck West Liberty and Morgan County in March 2012. An EF3 tornado, sometimes a mile wide, hugged the ground for about 86 miles, ripping through at least a five county area. One of the problems with this kind of disaster is being prepared, if you can ever be prepared. You really need to have a safe place for you guys to meet up. But that is what Courtney Rowland, a Morgan County 4-H'er and member of the Kentucky 4-H Team Council is trying to change with this disaster preparedness presentation. So I just wanted to kind of design a program for kids so that they would have some idea of what to do if they were home alone or even if they were with their families, if a disaster were to hit, that they wouldn't be as scared because being prepared makes things a little less scary. I'm from Morgan County and I'm sure you guys have heard about... This was the first time Courtney gave her presentation to several classes of middle schoolers at a 4-H teen summit. She came up with the idea for the program after surviving the tornado drawing upon her own experiences and resources like the Red Cross and other websites. Oh, extremely proud of her. I mean, Morgan County 4-H you know, agent Kim Cox says she is proud of Courtney. To... The program is therapy for Courtney as much as it is an effort to help others. I just think it's really, it's an honorable thing for her to do, but I think it also helps her uh, to feel like that she um, is overcoming the survivor guilt. I think that was a lot of uh, the actions of a lot of people is just that survivor guilt of what what you have is should you be thankful for it <laughs> that you were okay when your neighbor down the road doesn't have anything so we experienced a lot of that. Courtney Rowland says she never gave much consideration to disaster preparedness like putting together a disaster kit with water and food and items like that in it. But after having the tornadoes that hit last year in Morgan County, she is more prepared now. I'm telling these kids to make these disaster kits. Uh, my family did not have one. Uh, right before it happened, I think we put some water bottles down there and that was really all we had. If something were to have happened and we had gotten trapped, we wouldn't have been prepared. Like, I really don't know what we would have done. Courtney says the hardest part was the night of the tornado and getting information because there was no cell phone service and power outages. But soon she began to find out about the destruction and what the tornado left in its wake. The extension office, you know, that was my home away from home and there was nothing left. You could see through everything and that, that was one of the hardest places for me to lose was the extension office because I lived there. I mean, I was at the extension office an hour before it got hit, and it was it was hard. It was heartbreaking. So now that you have all of this information, what do you think you should do with it? What Each do state teen council member Courtney serves with will take her presentation back to the counties in their districts. But most of all, Courtney hopes these kids take her message to heart about being prepared. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, I'm Jeff Franklin reporting.